So this is actually a really good question. So I know a lot of people have been getting their compounded GLP-1s and their provider is actually drawing them up for you in a syringe and giving you the pre-filled syringes. And that seems like a good idea, but let me tell you why I don't think it is. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Tiffany, I'm a PA, and I help people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them with traditional insurance. So if you're struggling with that, there's some links over here in my bio that'll help you out. So this seems like such a good idea because where a lot of people struggle is the whole process of drawing the medicine up. And so, you know, you think, okay, let's take that step out of it, right? But there's one thing that I think people don't always think about and it's the stability of the medication. So once the medication leaves the vial, it's really not stable so much anymore. So it's really best practice to draw it up right before you inject it. So once you draw the medication up out of the vial, you're actually exposing it to light and air and temperature change, all of which can mess with the effectiveness of your medication. Then you also have to factor in the sterility because every time you handle a syringe, you have increased risk of bacterial contamination. So we want to handle the syringes as little amount of time as possible. So it's usually best to open one up and then draw it up right then and then inject it. But if you've had them opened up a long time and then uh, pre-filled, then you're handling them quite a bit. So we kind of want to just eliminate that. So CDC guidelines and USP guidelines recommend drawing up each dose immediately before you give it and then giving it to yourself for all the above reasons. So if your provider is pre-drawing your syringes up and then giving you the pre-drawn syringes, I know this seems like it is a good idea, but for me, it's a no.